Uh, just a quick chat. As you all probably know, we like to give positive reviews for places we stay. And sometimes, unfortunately, we have to leave negative reviews. And I just wanted to give a little a little scenario. So recently, Tom and I had to go down to Newcastle for a couple of appointments. And we said, in instead of taking the bus all the way down, ignore Ali in the background there doing the dishes like a good little house bitch. Um, we'll just get a cabin. And we booked a cabin. It wasn't a very cheap one. It was like a superior spa deluxe room. So it was quite, you know, we had high-ish expectations. Um, and when we got in, the first thing we did, we opened the door and it stunk like piss, uh, which is never a good start to a hotel stay. Um, and then sort of there was like black crud on the the white linen and then the bathroom was dirty and then the lights were dirty and then the cleaner slash caravan park manager and me climbed up on the kitchen cupboards and the top of the units were just next level filth. Now, normally at this point, I would name and shame that business. But here's the, here's how I think you should manage that situation. So I went and seen the office and then I sent through an email uh, with the photos that I'd taken of the offending crud and just said I've left the windows in the cabin open because there's a really strong, disgusting smell. And here's some photos of the cleanliness of the cabin, which is far below the standard I expect. It was actually, Tom and I have discussed it since, I think it's the dirtiest cabin we've ever stayed in or hotel room or pub room. It's, it's the dirtiest accommodation we've ever been provided. Anyway, so I really didn't expect a response from the team because often when you have a poor experience it's you're not the first person and they sort of fob it off but i actually want to say like hats off to this business uh because the management team were really excellent the receptionist rung and said i've got your email i've forwarded it to manager manager rung apologized sort of sorted things out has had since had a meeting with her staff about cleanliness levels and things so i want to point out that if someone comes to your business with less than positive feedback, don't take it as a personal attack, but take it as something to improve and to grow upon because no business is perfect. And if you address those situations correct, you should never have that bad feed, same bad feedback again. And the person who had the bad experience is less likely to go on wikicamps, booking.com, social media, and give your business a spray. Because had this not been addressed, I definitely would have been leaving a different video for this business and I would have been sharing the offended photos. But because the manager of that business handled it in such an excellent way, I'm actually like giving them a thumbs up for the management skills. And I'm not going to name their business because I don't want to do that to them. But I um, I just, I just want to say shout out to the people in the accommodation sector who can take on less than perfect feedback and use that to grow and develop their business and to train staff rather than just fobbing it off. Because if you fob it off, you're getting bad media, you're getting bad press. That's all there is about it. So thumbs up to those in the sector who handle it well, as happened to us on the weekend. Good job.